Hi and welcome to my channel or welcome back. Let's watch the first episode of The House of the Dragon together. I cannot wait, I don't want to film anything else for the intro. Let's watch it. In those days, House Targaryen stood at the height of its strength, with ten adult dragons under its yoke. No power in the world could stand against it. King Jaehaerys reigned over nearly 60 years of peace. The Prince Viserys Targaryen remains Prince of Dragonstone. The dragons, I cannot, I love dragons. Oh, these shots, oh my god. I love the dragons. I, okay, I need to calm down. I. I absolutely love the cinematography. Like I can tell that a lot, a lot of money went into this for sure. Like the camera shots, like everything feels like a movie, really. This has kind of that old Game of Thrones vibe, like the political intrigue and the shots at the table. Like it feels like going back in time, really. It almost feels better than Game of Thrones. Don't crucify me for this. God be good. The Iron it's Throne, I... Don't laugh. Don't laugh. I... I'm sure they're working with the best they've got. Sparrow to Rivo, say Gauma. Kepus. No, also Demon. I know they wanted to make the Iron Throne, like, more accurate to the books, but... I don't know if this is the way to do it. <laughs> it... I don't know. It looks a little um, weird. Like, especially if you know how it's supposed to look like in the books. I guess it would be very hard for them to like make the throne like more accurate to the books and then be like, oh, actually in these 200 years, suddenly it, what, fell apart, right? So that's not ideal. I know that, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> the throne, I just... Uh, I can't with this. I, I'll just ignore it. Gosh. I really like her. What's her name? Rhaenyra, is it? I really like her character. Oh, okay. Matt Smith is doing a fantastic job. I've seen him in The Crown already, and I know that he's a good actor, but I think he really shines in this role. Just his charisma and the way he commands the scene. To sacrifice one, or to lose them both. There is a chance that we can save. Oh. What's wrong with you? No, it's all right. What's wrong with you? 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 No, I'm scared of nothing. Styling him the heir for a day. Okay, I see. I see. I'm your heir. Not Ooh. You are to return. But I believe that you Watch. Gosh, the CGI in this, wow. Must have cost a lot of money. The dragons! Gosh, I'm living for this. Oh my god. I I cannot even form my thoughts right now. I, uh, okay. Whew. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
Let's talk about it. Did I already say that I love the dragons so much? Uh, I don't have that many thoughts now because it's only the first episode. So basically this show is based on Fire and Blood, which is a novel, it's like 700 pages, published in 2018 by George R. R. Martin. I haven't read it yet, I'm actually currently reading it. I started like last week <laughs> to get myself ready for the show and I want to read it before the show ends. At first I thought that this would be a limited series, like one season, but I know they're planning five seasons and my guess is they're also planning on using the second book in the duology of the Fire and Blood, which doesn't even have a publication date. So I'm a little worried we're going to have the exact same issue like we've had with Game of Thrones. I'm guessing that HBO is not willing to have another mess up like with Game of Thrones. So I hope they have that figured out. I think George R. R. Martin is like a co-producer. So hopefully that would work. Um, wasn't he a co-producer in Game of Thrones too? I don't know. But I know that he was very against the idea of having just like eight episodes and eight seasons. I think he wanted 10 seasons originally, so that makes sense. Can you imagine having 10 seasons and that the show would end just last year with a good ending? Maybe in the parallel universe that happened, but... I try not to talk about Game of Thrones too much, but of course I kind of have to compare the two. Um, this is just the first episode though, so even though I was very disappointed by the eighth season of Game of Thrones, I was really interested in this prequel regardless because I love the Targaryens, okay? I love the madness, the dragons. It's just that they seemed like very interesting characters to read about or to watch in TV shows. Going into it, I was a little worried that it's going to be way too politically correct and it doesn't seem like it, um, which is a good thing, I guess. I'm really excited for the show. I feel like it's a very good setting. I can already tell that HBO wants to redeem itself for Game of Thrones and so far, even though it's just been in the first episode I think they're doing a good job by the way I couldn't show like every scene as I would get into trouble with copyright so I hope you understand it's pretty standard for like reaction videos I think I'm planning on doing this as a series probably every week um, or every other week and just combine the two episodes together we'll see all right so that will be it for today's video I hope you have enjoyed it and I'll see you next time bye